and welcome back. Um, this is Jackie from White Raven Creatives on Vancouver Island. This was a little um, multi-flipped um, envelope booklet that I just put on YouTube um, the other week. And um, I've had a few requests to show how it was made. So that's what we're going to do here today. Um, I believe it was called butterflies and birds flip flop if you want to go and have a have a look and if you want to join us that would be great so um let's get on today we will uh, do part one which will be uh the foundation and putting the envelopes together and then part two will be coming back and um decorating okay thanks for joining me and see you in a sec Okay, so the first thing you need to do is get your envelopes. These are, um, in Canada, we call these legal envelopes, legal size. So they are about, um, let me see, what is that? Nine and a half by, by four. That's just to give you an idea of what I'm working with. But you can do this with any size or shape envelope that you would like. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is get seven envelopes. Because the way it worked is there was two on one side, on one end, one in the center, and then four. So these two and these two. Um, these two go together, two together, they go into this one. These two are separate and they go into this one. So um, the first thing that you're going to need to do after you've got your envelopes is cut off the edges um, now, oh, oh, one point here, sorry. Um, I've got these envelopes that are, have a pointed um, closure flap, but I think the last one I used, it had the square um, closure, you know, if you know what I'm talking about. Um, and uh, it came down a little more here and here, and there wasn't as much here. They were just a square flap. Uh, well, rectangular, but um, four-sided rather than a triangular. So, um, but these are the only ones I have. So I don't see why these aren't going to, to, to work as well. It's just that we have a bigger gap here. So when we cover the paper, we're going to have to, um, or decorate with the cover paper, we're going to have to remember um, and account and accommodate this space that, um, that we've got here because the square envelopes come up higher but um that's okay we we can we can do that we're crafty all right so let me zoom out a little bit and so all i'm going to do is go through and take these envelopes and cut off just a tiny bit off the edge of each one of these envelope and then i will be back so just uh, trying to show you how much of a, a tiny bit i'm cutting off just the slightest slightest amount um, that you possibly can just so that you can open oh now see this is a mistake that I've made I've cut on the wrong side so don't do that um, cut like I did here make sure that you're cutting on that side so that you have um, an opening like that all right um, so carry on with that and I'll be right back all right so I've cut the um, edges off of these seven envelopes and um, they are all now um, a tunnel I don't know what you call that I guess that's a tunnel call it what you want um, um, so now we're gonna I'm going to show you how we're putting these together and then you can uh, do that and uh, let me know when you get there okay so first of all what I'm going to do is take two of those envelopes and I'm going to put them back to, fronts to fronts and take the two um, closure flaps and put those into another envelope like that So you will have 
that. All right. Now, the other thing that you're going to need to do here is you're going to need to um, glue those in. Glue those glue those into your thing so that they're, they're permanent, both of them. And then what we're going to do is glue this down and cut off this edge. So I'm just going to take some good glue and glue that whole thing um, So it will be well stuck and glue that now into here. I'm trying to do this on a cover on this cover because the piece of paper or my um, non-stick mat is underneath and it's really dirty. But anyways, um, I don't know how long I'm going to keep this up. <laughs> So anyway, there we go. There's the first one left envelope into that center with the two edges cut off. And then we're going to do the same one with this other envelope. We're going to put some good glue on that entire flap. And I'm just using Aileen's Tacky Glue. I have a number of glues, um, but I'm finding that this one is... Um, is working good for me so make sure that you don't put it into this one all right put it into the left side so that in the end when that's down you've got your side with the two edges open which now one will be glued and you've got your envelope there and your envelope there so you're going to end up with with this Envelope, envelope, and then there's your tunnel. Now, if you've got any little pieces like this that aren't glued down, just go in and get them now. Get them down. All right. So um, once that's done, we're next going to um, put these other four pieces together, four envelopes together, and then I'm going to show you how we're putting those into here. Okay, so I've gone ahead... And um, I've enabled, numbered this one and two. That's the first bit we've already done and through the center, which was the tunnel piece with both edges open. Cut off the edges on both of these sides so that you could slip these envelopes in and these envelopes in, right? Now, what I also knew, remembered, was that if you don't want it opened, if you're not going to put something in each one of these envelopes, you can just leave it a closed envelope. Um, if it's on the outside and you can put things in, it'll work fine. Um, just depending on how you're going to want to fold all this in the end. So if you want, um, for now, you can leave these two edges closed and um, cut them off later if that's what you, if you want to have those as pockets when you're done. All right, so um, this is where we've gotten to for now so far. So we've got our first envelope and our second, which were put front to front, front to front. And then those were slipped into here, into the center tunnel, and they were both glued down. So they're now attached uh, like, like that. All right. So um, we could probably go in and slip some glue into that too, because unless you want a little secret hiding spot. Anyway, we'll come back to that. So then I've done the same on this side. I've taken two envelopes, I've put them front to front, and I've and I've put their ta their um, closing closure flaps into this edge of the envelope. And the same on this one, and I've just slipped those both in and glued them down. All right? So that's pretty simple. Now the next thing we're going to do is add these last two. So I thought um, maybe what I would do would be try one that's a recycled envelope because they're they're the same size as what I'm using um, now. So I'm going to um, just do one so that I can have a a window so that I can show you what it's like with a window and we might do something with that window um, when we're decorating. So all I'm going to do now 
is the same thing, but I'm going to add these, this one onto this envelope, like that, and this one will go onto this envelope. Those will be glued like that. Pretty simple. So I've got the one in at the back, and now I'm just going to put this, the very last one, into this envelope here. Um, and get that in there nicely and secure. So now let's call this uh, one, two, that's one, two, the center. This is three and four and five and six. All right, so we see what we've got here now. This is what it's going to look like. I'm going to just go up a little bit again. Excuse the mess on my desk. I'm sure you've all seen something similar. <laughs> if you're a crafter, then you know. So um, there we go. That's what it's going to look like once you've got it together. Your two pieces going into your center that had the tunnel um, cut on both sides. And then another envelope in, another envelope in to the center. And then another envelope into this number three. And another envelope here into number five. And there you go. There's your base. And that's what I have here. If you see... Um, what I created here it's the same idea okay two center and then um, an envelope 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 and envelope so um, and then it's just a matter of decorating and then um, the folding and and uh, flipping of however you want to do it um, so that you can show it Okay, so let's um, let's get on to decorating. Okay, so um, on to decorating. I my printer is not working, um, so I decided that so that I could carry on with this, I've just decided that I'm gonna. I do have some papers that were gifted to me, so I'm going to um, use those. And you're going to need uh, to cover every surface. So we've got seven envelopes in here. So you're going to need 14 pieces that are going to be wide enough to cover your envelopes as you go through. Four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I've counted something wrong. Isn't that right? Okay, well, anyway, <laughs> it, it, there's so much to this thing. It flips and flaps everywhere. But we do know we have seven envelopes, and there's two sides for each. So you're going to need 14 pieces um, to cover this with. Now, if you want to collage um, like I had done originally on these ones, um, you can go ahead and do that. Um, decorate however you want and then we can come back and we'll put some pockets on together all right I'll see you when I get back after I get these pieces um, all cut I'll show you what I'm talking about okay I'm jumping ahead here assuming that everybody um, would know what to do but I realize that I'm trying to show you and I need to make sure I show you everything so all I'm going to do is stick my paper I'm trying to cover this one envelope to start with so I'm going to put that to there I'm going to leave the tiniest border around the outside. So there's my crease. So I'm going to put it to there. I'm going to make a mark where I want it cut. And then on this side, I'm going to put the paper where I want it and make the mark where I want that one cut. And that would help if I'm in frame. So I'm going to cut this square out, rectangle out. And I'm going to cut out the other pieces. And then I will be back. So if you remember, our envelope was um, four. So I'm going to go two six one one sixteenth of an edge all the way around. So that would be um, uh, 
two sixteenths less than four. You do what you need to do. And then all I'm going to do is line, make the marks on my paper, line it up, and cut it straight down. And then on this side, I have it marked there. And I believe it was um, uh, a nine and a half inch. So I made this again just that much less again so a little bit of there and there will go perfect see how that's going to fit on there just that little bit of edge if that's what you like to do mark your papers and cut them so i'm going to get to here find my mark and cut i'm going to save these little bits this is only one sided paper, but um, I'm going to use these as, as little pockets and stuff on whatever other pieces I put on that would coordinate. All right, so I'm going to now use this as a template to um, to put on the bigger pieces that I've got left. And um, I should I should be able to get um, I marked that. And that I should be able to perfectly almost perfectly get that out of there all right so do the same thing cut up all your papers find something that matches it coordinates nicely and um, get your pages together and I will do the same and then I'll come back so um, I know uh, we can all cut paper but I have this little um, paper trimmer from Fiskars which is pretty good as long as you use it on a table it stays pretty flat um, uh, but otherwise it gets a little bit of a dip and the paper is not straight but it still saves a lot from um, all that cutting with scissors and you get fairly straight lines. So there's, I cut off the bottoms and then I have gone through and measured and I'm going to cut. And I don't think we all need to get too crazy about making it perfect because so much of it, it can be covered or, oh, I'm so sorry, I whacked um, that with my head. So anyway, let's um, just, I'm trying to see this without getting my head in your way. So there. So now I have, I'll get that out of my way. I have um, a collection. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Turned out this was a double side. So that's kind of nice. Nine. I can decide what side I want when I start putting it together so there's nine pieces and what did I say I needed 14 I'll be back okay so um it is a paper uh not a paper pack it was just pages that were bought separately and that one's a double-sided too so um I just went through and tried to figure out what I have here that would coordinate and I'm thinking that this green one should go pretty nicely with most of these the other thing that i've decided to watch for is that i don't have a busy busy background because at this point i'm not really sure how much further i'm going to go with the decorating and what i'm going to actually put on um for embellishments and and whatnot so i'm going to just try and stick with a, a paper that's fairly um fairly neutral okay so um got that done and um, here's what I come up with. Um, these are all the little scrap bits. Some I just end up cutting the bottom right off so I can figure out what I want to do with these later. Whether I might make want to make some side um, tucks. I've got them long enough. And if I want to just make little short pockets across the bottom, I've got them. Um, I've got them big enough there too, right? So and they all are coordinating nicely. So I ended up with um, 
uh, I, a 12 by 12 piece of paper cut nicely into uh, three fourths. Yeah, three fourths, 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. And I have 15. So I can um, decide which ones I want and um, where I where I want to put them, how I want to organize this. Now, the only um, real hint I'm going to say here is um, um, that's going to open up. You're going to have four there. I'm going to have four there. You've got two here. And I know it always, every time I do it, I think I've got more pages than I'm thinking of. But if you think about it, you've got seven envelopes. So you've only got seven times two sides, 14 pieces are needed all right so the only thing now is I'm going to figure out how I'm going to lay these on and um how I might like it you know maybe perhaps something like that um and maybe something like like that there and then, um, oh, well, I just ran over one with my chair. <laughs> ah, that's a new way of embossing, I guess. So anyway, um, no big deal. We can figure that out. So I will do the same on the other side. And then I will glue them down. Now, like I said, the only thing that we really need to watch out for is this big hole that we have here. Right? So, um, that's easy enough. You just go with your glue around that. And I'm going to glue it all down. This is pretty good glue if you guys haven't used it. It's cheap. I get it at Michael's uh, for like, I don't know, four bucks for a five ounce um, container. And it lasts a while. So, um worth it and it's got this little stand on it so I can always stand my glue up it's always going to the bottom um, great great stuff so I've got that now if you want to distress your edges and things like that now would be the time to do it I'm not going to bother doing that on this one I'm going to try and go for a cleaner look to start with anyway maybe by the time I'm decorating I might change my mind but you can always do that later so the only thing is don't put the glue, just put the glue on this part. Do not get the glue down here. Um, if you're going to want to use that as a pocket. If you, which is an option I think we should just leave open for now because we can always glue it later. Okay, so then you just lay your decorative page on top. And um, line it all up nice and stick her down like that. This one will be easy because it's solid. I just get the edges and um, probably need another one of my many containers sorry I keep slamming that down and and uh bouncing it so um I'm just going to put all these on if you come to it that you've cut one a little bit shorter make sure that the top is what's nice because we're we can put pockets and stuff on here anyway so we're going to cover up some of that lower stuff so if you got a page that's a little short just make sure you got your tops your tops looking nice all right so that um, Aileen's tacky glue is also nice because it gives you um, a second or two if you need to pull something up. So there we go. So I'm going to stick all my pages down and then I will come back to show you what I got. So here's how I found this the easiest way to do this. I, um, I laid it out um, like I showed you before with the, um, the original way we had it laid down. And then I put the four there. Then I flip this back 
and I had four to do again. And then when I flipped it over, I had four to do again and then two remaining. So I put the two pieces that I want in here for sure. I'm going to go with these two. That'll go in that little spot. Then I have the four here to do. So I've got um, five to choose from. So I'm going to get these glued down and I will return. Huh, just had a had a laugh, you know. Isn't that the way um, when you get a double-sided, you like both sides and you can't figure out which one you prefer to use? So um, huh. I've used that once on that side and I kind of think I'm going to stick with this because of the green. All right, so remember we left um, one of the, uh, I put the uh, recycle envelope on. And uh, I had that little window I wanted to try and use it. So how I'm going to do that is I'm going to stick the piece of decorative paper that I'm going to put on top. I'm going to slip that inside. Um, and I'm going to just use a pencil and press around the edges here. So they'll get an imprint onto my paper. A slight imprint. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it is there. And then I'm just going to cut this out. So I've just um, used a small pair of scissors and cut that out from there. And um, I basically don't throw anything out until I'm done, done, done. Uh, you never know when you might need a little piece like that. So now that's going to fit over top of there like that. And then that will give us a little bit of a window that I might, um, I don't know, put something in so it'll show through. Just a little added added um, embellishment. All right, so I'm just going to glue this down on top of here and finish putting the other pages on. So as I'm laying out the pages, I thought that I would have it like that, but then I thought I'd just check to see what's here. And I've got this there, so I don't want that there. You get what I see? And that and then that because that's the same as what we've got on here so i'm going to switch these two around a little bit so i've got something different and more like that okay so um here's where we're at here's where we ended up um today um just make one to get the idea and then you can make your good copy later if you need to don't worry about it just um just create all right so here's what i ended up with um so we have the four here with the little window we have um the four here and the four there so and um <laughs> it's like a magic hat um there's another one here oh, sorry. this is just so flippity flip flip and then there's our two so here's how we end up folding this baby so that we have um uh, nope maybe wrong again uh, anyway, there's lot there's lots here. You can figure out how you want to fold it later. Um, the only thing I would say is watch if you do have um, paper that has a up and a down, a top and a bottom. Make sure that you're um, getting all your tops at the top. That sort of goes without saying, but I know it's easy to to um, mess that up, right? So anyway, there's all of the pages. All 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 sorts there so um there no that's not how i did it last time I... <laughs> oh that's fun so there you go anyway lots of fun trying to figure out what's next here um and and then you do have some nice big pockets if we want to stick a little booklet in or you know another piece of paper or something like that we do have some um pockets because of the way we've put the envelopes together okay so and um let's see what else did i think we had um a couple on the edges as well so now 
we're to the point of leaving all of this for now because it was a lot and then coming back and we'll do some decorations and uh, we'll put some uh, pockets and edges um, on um, on our pages and uh, and decorate up a little bit more so um, if you have any questions um, just um, leave a comment and I will try and get back to you as soon as I can here um, anyway good luck and um, uh, good creating all right we'll see you soon thanks again for watching and um, I hope you have fun all right